what is going on people of youtube it's your boy the hobby collector here to give you guys a look at me applying my new decals i got from my alienware 18 inch gaming laptop now for anybody that's been watching me for a long time watching me over the last past three four years know that every time i get a laptop i always get the uh, i carbon uh carbon fiber skin for it i got it from my 13 inch macbook pro got it from my fit uh my currently 15 inch macbook pro and now i got it from my alienware uh 18 inch gaming laptop now this carbon fiber skin isn't made by the same uh company that made the ones by you know for the macbooks and stuff like that i had to actually search for this one there were no other vendors selling any type of carbon fiber decal skins for the alienware except for this particular vendor i waited for about a month to get this because it came from hong kong or china somewhere uh, like that somewhere over there but it came earlier than what it was supposed to come it's supposed to come between december 10th and january 2nd um right now as i record this look at my phone it's actually this december 5th right now so to compare this to my iCarbon carbon fiber skin um i will say the iCarbon carbon fiber skin is a little bit thicker it sticks way better it's like it's more heavy duty stick stickiness to it but it's not the type of stickiness to where it leaves a residue on your whatever you're sticking it to it's just heavy duty you know it just does a good job at being heavy duty and you know being restickable this one on the other hand the thing i like about this skin is that it's thin it's thinner than the high carbon skin so it looks like it's like infused within the device itself i feel like it's made it seems like it's made like that even though the high carbon gives it that illusion as well but this one really really does it and this one what i like about this one too which is i like it and i don't like it. i'm like in the middle of it is how shiny it is compared to the i carbon a uh, carbon fiber skin um i like the shine of it. it it gives it like this unique look like it looks like legit kind of when it's shine when it's like shiny like that but at the same time it kind of makes it look fake at the same time inside certain aspects when you're looking at it it depends on which angle the light hits it and stuff like that but for the most part it looks cool the reason why i came to the conclusion that the eye carbon uh, skin sticks more than this one is because even at this point there's still certain parts of the uh, skin that keep on like bubbling up not like big old giant areas but like the little tiny little spots and little edges i gotta keep on like rubbing down with my hand i'm gonna try and rub, run the um the heat gun over it again and just you know try and get it stuck down real well but since this skin isn't super sticky and stays well stuck down super well like the eye carbon uh, skin the stickers underneath kind of messes it up so i had to remove the i7 um sticker from the inside and put it on top which i don't mind it kind of kind of makes it look uh, nice like that and at the bottom of the uh, laptop, I need, I need to do the same thing, but I might just leave it like that. So the main reason why I got this carbon fiber skin for this particular uh, computer is because it's for the inside. That's the main thing I wanted it for. I didn't care about the having the uh, decals for the screen or for the outside, you know, screen cover or the bottom. I didn't care about none of that. All I wanted was the skin for the inside where the keyboard is. And that's because that uh, matte plastic, that, that matte rubber, that they have on there is finger is a fingerprint magnet as you can see even if your hands are clean it still picks up any little type of grease or any, any type of anything that's on your hands so and i know from my experience using the carbon fiber skin it doesn't really pick up nothing at all it just you know and it does a good job at protecting your computer from scratches and things of that nature so as you can see i went ahead and utilized the skin for the inside the screen as well i didn't think i was gonna like the screen uh putting it on the screen itself around the bezel but i actually like how it looks and i like how they got the alien cut out alien wear uh you know wording cut out for that so that's cool i also end up using it for the bottom as well i like how it makes the bottom look and also protects it you know from scratches like i said and the main thing the main area i made sure not really made sure but i knew for a fact no matter how good that it may look i did not want to use it for the outside uh screen um housing at all because i love how that aluminum looks i like how that looks like it makes it look like kind of like that robocop look i love that like even when it comes to the keyboard that little metal strip that's at the top of the keyboard going all the way across i left that uncovered they have a decal for that for me to uh have that you know with the uh i the carbon fiber skin on that but i didn't want to have that covered up but that looks cool you know especially with the carbon fiber on the keyboard and then you got the metal strip the little you know aluminum and then you know that's dope 
and it gives it like this nice little luxury ready for anything type of look like that's the best way i can describe it like it's like a at least for me like every time i open it up now it's like damn like it, it looks completely different and then another area that i didn't think i was going to use the decals on like at all i even was putting up everything i had stopped recording and everything and was putting everything away and i was like you know what i wonder how the sides would look with the decals on it let me see how the side would look it makes the aluminum on the laptop stand out even more it makes it look like more of a premium look to it the only area that this that this product lose points in is um i'm not really concerned with the thinness of it you know that's just that's not really something that's really making or breaking the product itself is the, the only thing that's breaking the product is the stickiness of it and it's, it's real sticky it's just it don't stay stuck down inside little spots and stuff like that i'd be finding myself opening up the laptop and have to keep on pressing down like little bubbles that's lifting up and stuff like that and it's not like a lot of different spots it's like one or two spots maybe three but that's just been around a screen bezel as far as the keyboard everything been stuck down nothing been lifting up or nothing like that at all not even a little bit as far as applying this um the technique i have is you know i kind of fold it down kind of like do it like a band-aid a little bit kind of take one little part off stick it on and get that matched up pretty well and pretty good and then if you get that side matched up more than likely to you know it's gonna be matched up completely even when you unroll the whole thing and stick it down um, one thing i like to do too is looking at different like critical parts of the cutout so like the alienware cut out i make sure i stick those areas down relatively first so that can get matched up because you know if you got that matched up there's no way in the row everything else isn't going to be matched up because you got the main thing that's critical when it comes to the cutout so you want to make sure even though you do got everything lined up when you're spreading everything out especially how big this um, laptop is you just want to make sure you're stretching out everything straight and even and then just use the heat gun to you know kind of infuse the decal onto what you're putting it onto and that's about it make sure you're not applying too much heat because too much heat will make it like kind of like bubble up a little bit and kind of like um wrinkle up a little bit doing too much heat the heat is just to reactivate the glue and get it infused and get the material kind of a little bit more soft and able to fold around corners and stuff like that and that's what i recommend most definitely using this product is a heat gun um i didn't recommend that for eye carbon uh skin because you can use it without a heat gun even though that's it's good to have a heat gun for that too but for this i say you need a heat gun there's no way in a row i can see anybody sticking this down and having this looking the way it's looking on my computer without a heat gun because one this comes rolled up so it even says like leave it leave some stuff on top of it flat for a day so it can you know flatten out because even as i was sticking it down it was coming un unstuck because it want to roll up so i had to use the heat gun to kind of make it soft to make it you know bend back to normal shape and just stick it down so with that being said people of youtube that's going to do it for my unboxing slash review slash application of the carbon fiber skin for my alienware 18 inch laptop so if you're looking at buying this bad boy got you kind of interested the link is inside the description um to the same exact location place i brought it for from but definitely be expecting a long wait upwards towards a month to a month and a half i'm going to end this video hope you guys enjoyed this overall video and shout out to everybody that's been subscribing lately keep on subscribing showing your boy support appreciate it and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace